Scotch Test Dummies with Scott and Bart. Scott, also known as the little guy, the guy on the left, the silent one, has long-lasting COVID symptoms and still cannot fully taste or smell. Hashtag, trust Bart. Hey, it's Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. Bart. Rhymes with... Smarty. <laughs> we got Makers 46, Cask Strength. Woo, they put a stave in it. We're going to test it. Extra stave style. Stave it, baby, stave it. All right. Now, real quick, the lobster video where I'm wearing the Jordan Peterson shirt came out. A lot of people commented on how they liked how you basically touched me. I aroused. Yes. Now, I'm wearing my Rebel shirt. Would you like to touch it? Nope. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing. Nothing against the Rebel. Nothing against the Rebel. No. But it okay. doesn't, it's not even. It's, it's not, not shiny. Not yeah. If it was a shiny thing, apparently it's not. A, oh, hey. I made that cork air a while back. All right, that's a call back to the Jordan Peterson lobster shirt. But that was a few videos ago. What are we doing with this cast strength? So Makers 46 cast strength, limited edition, came out uh, a few months ago, I want to say. We just found it here. Mm. I'm a big Makers Mark fan. Yes. We did a blind bourbon shootout years ago. Loved it. Uh, Maker's Mark was my favorite. Blind out of 16 different bourbons. Shocked you. Enough that you had an expletive. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. You but said I've got, what the... I've got a few of them lined up down there. Yes. Uh, I don't know if you can see them in the shot or not. All the red wax. Can you see red? Do you want me to pull any up? No. Oh. Not yet, anyway. Not yet. Maybe, Maybe later. Well, I was curious. I am curious. This is a cast strength. You've got a cast strength regular one down there, oh, yeah. so we'll pull that up at I some take, point. Take a look. I know people would say, "How does this compare to?" They do. They like that, yeah. and we're good about pulling stuff onto the table. Here is. <laughs> Go I ahead. Know where you was going? Yeah, you had a little pause. Look, we're good at pulling stuff off of the shelf. <laughs> Fifty-five point one five percent ABV. <laughs> stave stave profile number forty-six. That's what 46. they profile. The stave that goes in? Yes. Wow. Well, they, yeah, they they do use different profile staves, which is where those annual releases come from. Uh, they're using different I got it. Yeah, because there's profiles. different. So basically the, the stave from whatever type of barrel it's in is known. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. I may have inadvertently flashed the dirty side of the coin for those that know. They know. Right. Also, still disclaimer, I'm still long-term COVID effects. Palette is mostly back. <laughs> Smell is still hindered somewhat. So what do you got to do? Trust, hashtag trust Bart. Bam, I already did it. Now, I told Scott when I got over and we talked about what we were going to do, and he pulled this up and said, yeah, it looks great. I go, I've had a mixed relationship with the 46. Yeah. I was not a big fan of the 46 when we tried it. Not that it was bad or anything, but it felt a little oakier to me. And I didn't necessarily like the throwing in of the extra stave. And that was probably three or four years ago, yeah. though, as well. It's hard to believe it was that long ago. Yes. Yeah. Um, however, I recently was looking at my shelf, and, and there was like I had a dusty 46 maker's bottle there. And I thought, let me take that upstairs to more of my daily drinker area where I kind of work through bottles, finish them out, heel slam, get rid of them. I had a sip of it. Re thinking in the back of my mind, this wasn't my go-to. It'll be a good July, August one. I'll throw a cube in. And, have, and I was like, oh my. And it hit me as a really nice flavor. I don't know if it changed, morphed, whatever. I put it back under. I said, I'm not going to make this a daily. Well, I just looked. It was uh, August of 2016. Oh we reviewed God. Makers. So oh, almost my. five years ago. Jesus. <laughs> we were but children. Yeah. We were whiskey babies. Uh, nice honeyed cinnamon. I would Cinnamon agree. honey. Ooh, your nose is doing good. Yep. Faintly, though. I, I would say, and I don't know if this is my nose or not, it's not a real strong nose. No. Are you getting? No. Is it, or is it kind of muted, or is that just me? No, it's not super strong. I would agree with you on that. I think this is a weeded bourbon, and... The weeders uh, come in a little lighter for me anyway. Yeah. So I, I yeah, like they heavy will. rye mash bills because part of it is that nose just kind of comes in there. You get peppers and 
and punch, whereas I'll get a lighter nose off of a weeder. People still call it a weeder? Yeah, sure. <laughs> you looked at me a little bit. I thought maybe I'm using an old term. Nobody calls it a weeder anymore. Now it's called a weeding. Um, other than that, some oak, some cinnamon, some honey. I get oak, cinnamon. I had a touch of antiseptic there for a second. Uh, what's the proof again? 55.5. Okay, that's probably why. When I get a little higher proof, uh, sometimes that'll shine through. But yeah, oak, cinnamon. Yeah. Mm. A little astringent. I'll let you go, though. Yep, I'm still letting that soak in. Just get that palate. Ooh. Good first sip. Great finish. I'll come back. First whiskey of the day. Mm -hmm. None of that, none of that rye spice is there. This is all sweetness. It's all maybe even a little bit of an apple, citrus, honeyed cinnamon. Almost like a, an apple pie with a lot of cinnamon on it. Hmm. No, no apple pie for you? I haven't got an apple pie yet. I'm, I'm pleased with your smell and taster. The first thing is that the very first taste, like level one, I get an astringent dryness, a heavy burst of that alcohol, which you would expect at this ABV. Then the mid palate shifts into those heavy oaks, which some of you know I'm not as big into the heavy oaks, and I'm thinking, hmm. But then it transitions transition into this creamy, sweet, kind of like cinnamon baking crust finish. And I like the finish here the most. And I love clean transitions. And this has it because that, that astringent dryness I thought was going to stay with it. And it popped away pretty quick and went to the oak and then it moved to that creamy. Did you ever do the deal where, I don't know, it was almost like you would put these, you would put cinnamon sugar on these things and bake them in the oven and they were like crisps, cinnamon crisps. Yes. Well, you didn't like that? I didn't explain. You just take it, no, you just take it. Yeah, you just take it a while to get that. I could not remember cinnamon crisps. <laughs> that phrase, uh -huh. cinnamon crisps, yeah. was gone. Mm -hmm. All right, it kind of reminds me of those, but with yeah. a creamierness to it. That's weird. I haven't had cinnamon crisps. That's what we had when we were poor as children. <laughs> Here's a treat, kids. Well, we have bought there's some um, some pita chips now made from pita bread that are mm. cinnamon sugar. I mean, mm. you buy them at the store, you know. In, I can't remember mm -hmm. what brand, but hold on, you buy them at the store? Yeah. Damn. I suppose you could make them if you wanted to, but I grew up poor. Friend. I'd stick. I'd stick with my apple pie here, mm. but it's got a buttery caramel, cinnamon, frosting glaze on. It. Well, okay, apple pie, buttery caramel drizzle. And then uh, the, just the white frosting drizzle across mm. it as well. Okay. Huh. Cinnamon. Okay. Yeah, I think you said that. That's good. And pita chip. And a pita chip. I would go with cinnamon crisp now that I know the word. And it took a while to come mm. to the fore. So, I'll try it with some agua. Agua. It's very nice at 55.15. The finish here is still when I'm enjoying the uh, the linger, and it lingers long. I do get a little bit of that apple crispness in the very latter parts of the finish. The cream kind of fades out. I get a little bit of what might be an apple crisp. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just acknowledging your apple analogy. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You haven't had to hurry me along. I could not find cinnamon crisp. Yeah, I know. You're like, come on. Come on. Spit it out. Come on. <laughs> I couldn't get it. I couldn't find it. And it, then it made itself known. <laughs> it's amazing, the brain. The, the theme song from Jeopardy. <laughs> God, I would lose that. <laughs> mm. this, you right. know, oh, here's the deal. There's, this is good. There's no wow factor here. I would agree. I like the transitions. We need new glasses. This is a little dusty. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at this. The old Whiskey Tribe bracelet. That was from that very first um, Bastard's Ball. Oh, yeah. It's hot as 80s. Ooh. 
And only one food truck. I say my prostate was uh, sweating and nothing. <laughs> it was like 110 uh, in oh Austin, my Texas. God, you're, That's cork. Oh. Oh. Pull it. My man gripper yeah. ain't working. Yeah. Your prostate was sweating. That was awful. Uh, so let's look at the maker's mark. Actually, let's go through real quick, though. Do we want to score this before we do this? Yes, we should. Um, Dribbled you. Watch out. I, I added a drop of water to mine. I liked it. It didn't Me hurt too. it. Didn't um, change it a bit. It's all still there. Let yeah. me check again just real quick. That, that's a tight cork. Like a drum. Um, nothing wow here. 89. Stunned me. It's good. God dang it. I was between 86 and 87. I didn't think you were going to pop your score off there. Oh. I'm going to go 86. I was probably going to go 87, but I don't want to be sitting too below you. That's a little low. It is not, a little low. It's not. <laughs> I was going to do 87, but immediately when you did that, I didn't think you were going to throw your score out there. Okay, I'll go 87. So what if people yeah. say I always peg, peg, ooh, slide too below you there. So before um, we move on as well, $60. I like the proof. I think the astringency catches me early, and then it moves into the into the into the oak. So again, I'm going to tell you if you like the oak, I think this moves way up on the score factor for you. For me, that moves her down a little bit. I like the creamy finish. The finish is long. I do have to say a caveat real quick, and that is. I would say 89 range just because I'm still not truly scoring because of the Got it. the COVID, long-lasting COVID effects. Still not have everything back. This is around 89. Maybe it's a 90. Maybe it's an 88. Somewhere in there. But I'll stick with my score. $60. So, I don't regret buying it. I wouldn't buy another one. No. Here's my one caveat I'll give this. I think I had a very similar response, and I can't remember the score from 2016, but... It left me lackluster then and improved over time. So maybe this is something that gets better in the in the bottle. So you mean that, that bottle sitting there for five years got better? It did. That happens. Yeah. That doesn't happen with a lot of things. Except the dummies. We was get that better phone, over was time. Was that phone call about me? Because my nose started itching. It, it was not. Oh. It was not. All right. Let's look at makers. <laughs> I thought your makers, ears ring when someone's thinking about it. Or your you. nose itches. Your nose know. itches? Makers mark. Maker's Mark cask strength now. This and this is an older bottling as well, probably fifty four point eight percent. So right below our fifty five one five. All right, so uh, you get a touch of the astringency, but it's just got a, uh, it's got that floral weeder note. Ooh, hold on, what is that? A finish caramel. Mmm, caramel toffee. Much better finish. Really. Oh, I love that. I can't it's tell the like difference between caramel, the two. No, it was a, like me, a caramel toffee. Let me Rizzle. go back. Wow. Let me go back. I like that. 46. Well, it didn't feel like it transitioned as much, but it didn't need to. And no major oak hit for me. Again, that's my own bias. And this could be the effects of my palate not being fully back. I get the major. I'd say I get ninety percent of a whiskey. I'm losing out on some of the subtleties. Mm. These are real similar. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this reminds me of those little royal toffee Christmas candies that you that are in your stocking, and uh, maybe a touch of raspberry in it too. They have a raspberry caramel chew. It reminds me of that. I'm going to have to say trust Bart on this one because I can't tell the difference between the two. Well, that's just on the comparison of uh, the cast rank normal one to this. This definitely had that oak kicker in it. So, again, I'll say if you like those oak notes, I think you'll like this more. Um, that's interesting, though. Um, distinctly different, yet of the same family. Hard to do. Uh, during one of the, we just did two Westlands that were sent to us from John Ingman. Uh, during that, we talked about how John is a big fan of Westland and he hangs out there, knows everybody. They, they got a the little room. You said he probably sleeps at the That's what I was saying. He's got a cot. He sent this picture. 
<laughs> he says, tell, tell Bart, I, in fact, I do sleep at the I distillery. I love it. I love it. I want to <laughs> snuggle up with him right there. Look at that. He's owning like three children. And I don't know if we'll show. I don't know if we'll show that show picture. Got to show it. Anyway, he sent us a picture. It would be wrong not to show he him. He looks show. like he's having peaceful dreams. I don't know if he wants his face shown or not. Maybe okay, does, maybe you doesn't. reach out to him. If he says no, you guys blame him in the comments. <laughs> if he says yes, give him some love. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, check like check out some of our merchandise at scotchtestdummies.com. We got coins, glasses, shirts, hats, dropper sets, all kinds of stuff. Help support the show. To hats. Woohoo! And Patreon. You can go to Patreon. Once you go to Patreon, you look up Scotch Test Dummies. You can support for as little as a dollar, as much as a thousand. <laughs> Not that you would do that, but you can do a dollar a show if you want. You set the limit. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Um, and, uh, scotch it. You scotch gods. Solange. Dummies. Dummies. <laughs>